Hey guys, if you have a small entry or maybe no entry at all, you want to pay attention because I've got five easy tips that'll help you level up your entry game. Why? Your entry is the first impression everyone has of your home. And so not only do you want to get it right, but you want to make sure it's cohesive with the rest of your design style statement. <laughs> The number one tip on working with your entry is know your architecture and your design style statement. Hey, are you traditional? We can work with that. Are you transitional? Of course, that's easy to fix too. Are you contemporary? Lots of options there. Just know what you're doing first and know what your architecture says and what are your restrictions. And if you don't know what your design style is, then you want to head over to Design Space and take the quizzes that are all about understanding what your personal design style statement is, even if it's a mix of a couple, and then you're covered to rock and roll on your entry. My number two tip for crushing your entry is understanding your architectural parameters. Maybe you have a split level situation. There, you want to make sure that you're going vertical like you see here. Hooks, shelves, seating, and storage all in one line. Works on a split level easily. Or what if you have a super tiny and narrow entry? Well, you got to get super tight on your scale. Like you've got a flat mirror, a super narrow little shelf here happening, and some hooks over on the side, but it's all there. Or what if you have no entry at all? You're in a studio condo or elevator just opens right onto the space. Well, there's still ways to do it. Consider things like creating an actual entry experience by doing a little bit of a room divider. I love this black one, that's amazing. Or another solution is put something over to the side, like this gal has installed a floor length mirror, which is beautiful and a little seat spot. So there are ways to solve even if your spaces are restricted architecturally. Now, my number three tip for crushing your entry is a must have which is hooks, coat trees, or storage of any kind. Now, there's lots of different solves for this, but what you want to do is think about a solution that's combined. I love the idea of having a little tiny bit of a bench with some storage baskets below, hooks above. That's a great solution regardless of the size of your entry. Make sure you add a little bit of a mirror in there or this is a nice little solution if you're in a super tight space and don't want to attach anything to the wall. You can do a little coat tree that's got some shelving space in the bottom of the tree itself. Or you can do a multi-purpose condition where you do a bench, hooks, mirror, storage baskets, you've got it covered, but make sure that you give people places to put things when they come into your home. Okay guys, my number four tip for crushing your entry is getting great lighting. It's super important. I cannot tell you how many times I've been welcomed into someone's home and all the lights, if they even have any, in their entry are off. It makes a terrible, terrible impression. So you want to level up your game this way. Make sure that you have some sort of ceiling lighting piece. Now, it can be spectacular, like this golden globe there, which becomes a visual focal point, which is great. Or you can just have something simple that puts out a good bit of light. That's what you want to make sure you've got covered. Now, if you're lucky enough to have power in the walls, maybe you want to consider adding a second layer of light with some sconces like you have here. Or you can also consider like a little table lamp. This pair here is very beautiful. It's in a little bit larger entry style, but you can also do smaller lamps that will give off lots of light. You want it to feel warm, inviting, and welcoming, even during the evening or the day. So my number five tip on how to crush your entry, and it's a super must, guys, is you've got to make sure you have a surface. Why? Because the surface acts as the furnishings anchor 
to an entry. It signals to somebody, oh, I can place my card down. Oh, I can place my keys down. It's a surface and it doesn't have to be a big one. Take a look at these two narrow options. This one's just a super slender shelf with a lovely little stem of florals on it. Or how about this one? I love this. That's that Ikea shoe holder. It's only about eight inches deep, but it works as a perfect surface in a narrow hallway. Or just do a floating shelf. And if you're lucky enough, you can maybe build out a little bit of a niche and put some storage baskets below it. That's fantastic. But that surface has to be there to make people feel welcome. My number six tip for crushing your entry is if you've got the space, even just a bit of space, you want to make sure you've got something to sit on. Just a little tiny thing. And this is an opportunity where you can also really ratchet up your style statement. Take a look at this contemporary entry, which has a little tiny table to the side, the surface everybody needs, and that fun red stool. Now, that's not very big, but it's enough for you to be able to plop down, slip your shoes off if you want to, but everyone needs a surface if you can get it in there. Now, another good way to do that is do a console or a shelf or some kind. You can do little poofs that push up against the wall underneath that one or two both work fine both can really crush your style statement or how about this lovely little traditional solution where it's just a little bit of wall that is their entry but they've got a little tiny small surface and then next to it a beautiful little artistic statement of a chair so there's lots of ways to do this but if you can you want to make sure you get a little tiny seat in your entryway my number seven tip for crushing your entry is to make sure you've got an eye level mirror somewhere in that space. Now, it doesn't have to be a big one or it can be a huge one like full wall. That's always a good solution, but you've got to get a little mirror in there. Why? Because people want to check themselves when they've been outside and you might want to kind of like make sure your pearls are on straight when you're going to go answer the door. So, Take a look at this solution. I love this. Not a lot of room there, but they just put a huge six by four mirror behind the bench. So there's enough visual and there's also a seat. Good solution there. Or here's another shallow area where there's just a little bit of a shelf and then a mirror hanging above. That's a great solution. Here's one that has like four or five little mirrors just kind of attached to the wall near a little freestanding shelf. These are all really good solutions. And the other nice thing about mirror is that it also bounces light. So if you're lucky enough to have an open window or a side light by your front door, the mirror works as something that will give that entry more light. But if you don't even have that, it'll reflect the light that we discussed earlier that you've got on when someone comes into your home. So guys, thanks so much for all my wonderful Design Space members. You guys mean the world to me. And if you want to check out what Design Space is, you can head over to designspace.com. Now, next, go over and check this video out, which is also on entries. So don't miss this one. Make sure and like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about these tips for your entryway, and I'll see you soon.